All right, guys. So, about ready to leave uh, Grandma and Grandpa's cabin. It's been a fun time, um, but I wanted to talk to you guys just for a quick minute here about the landscaping here at the cabin. Where I'm from, if you go down to the shore, which is what everyone does on the weekend, and everyone here, they go to the lake on the weekend. Weekends, um, they don't, people down the shore love to have everything immaculate, whereas here at the cabin, they're just kind of a min minimalist, um, give it, leave it more natural and less maintenance, which is totally okay, because it gives you more time to, uh, go fishing or whatever you're going to be doing. Anyway, so, I just wanted to show you guys kind of the landscaping around here, and, um, <laughs> then I'll share, I'll share my thoughts, uh with what I think should be done, but it's not gonna happen. I do, I really love how the front of the cabin looks here. You got the nice, natural rock retaining wall, which is a whole lot easier than doing a block one. I love that. You got the nice hosta the deer have been munching on. <laughs> and then you get to the sorry grass state. Not good. We cut that tree down a couple years ago and we kind of got trees scattered around in here. And they always like to block the view from the lake. Oh, look at that. Seagull on the dock. Block the view from the lake to the cabin. That's just something that they do here. I don't, you know, I don't understand that. I mean, I get it. You could privacy, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it is kind of nice. If I had this here, I'd remove every single tree here in the middle, and I'd just leave the ones lining the lake, and then I'd just um, re till um, till this all, rip this all up, and then uh, regrade it because there's definitely some unevenness, and then uh, plant some beautiful grass and be fertilizing it up. And, She'd be looking nice. And then, like, see, this is the other thing that bothers me. There's no de defined edge here. I mean, you can kind of see it, but it's it's pretty bad. I would like to, a more, some type of um, stone edging or something, so at least you could see what uh, where the rocks are supposed to stop. So, anyway, just my two cents, but this is, uh, this is how they do landscaping in northern Minnesota, so. What are you gonna do? So. Oh, and then one more thing I do have to show you real quick. Hopefully the battery lasts. Up through here. I love how Grandpa trimmed this. He made a nice pathway. This used to be pretty covered up here. Trimmed it up, elevated the tree, so nice walkway through here and on up to the garage. Beautiful. Guys, one final walk down to the lake. Uh, I'm gonna miss this place, but I know of all the work that's waiting for me at home, so I gotta get there. And guys, to kind of give you an idea, I don't know if you can see this. But the trees are actually starting to change color already. So. That's that's just crazy, because it's barely September, and I know I'm gonna go home. It's pro it's in the um, like mid 60s here, and I'm gonna go home. It's gonna be like <laughs> low 80s. Not gonna be fun. But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd show you the um, 
I'll show you how they landscape here and <laughs> you only, only got to mow here like <laughs> twice a month. <laughs> but uh, anyway guys, alright I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Hopefully we'll be back to some work here and I have not forgot I got a, we got some turf stuff going on so be on the lookout for that and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.